addition to answering those questions, go to webinar questions. I'll answer them live because I'm sure a lot of other people will have those same questions. So before I jump in, I do have a question that I want you all to answer for me. So go ahead and answer the question on your screen. So do you already have a planned out content calendar? And I was just informed my slides weren't showing. If you want to see my picture, I can go back. Um, but answer this poll question real quick. And then I'll make sure you guys can see my slides. So we're at about 60% of you voted. Once we hit 70%, I'll go ahead and close the poll and show you the results. Awesome. So there are the results. So you can see what other people are already doing. So 41% of you already have a plan out content calendar. 45% of you do not. And 14% aren't even sure what a content calendar is. For those of you who aren't sure quite yet, definitely stay tuned. This is very valuable for you and your social media presence. So it's all about scheduling out your content when you're going to put it out. So whether that's a video, a link to an article, just a uh, status update with a question, we'll cover some of those. It's scheduling out all of that different content for when it's going to go live on your page. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen again. If you really want to see my picture, you can look it up online. I'm not going to go back because the content's more important. So first thing we're going to cover today, the six status updates you can copy that will get you likes, comments, and shares. So we're going to run through these. If you need me to slow down or have any questions about them, remember, go to webinar questions. So first, true or false statements. I know that sounds weird, very simple, but I promise you lots of people will interact with them, especially if they're relevant to current events that are going on. Oh, I have a lot of people saying yes, must see a picture. You can look up J. Tucker Hay online and find that. <laughs> There's pictures of Nathan out there as well. You can see his luscious locks. It's, it's pretty funny. All right, so keep your posts under 80 characters for the best results. So that's a little pro tip. Don't write some novel and ask true or false at the end. Put the true or false at the very beginning so it captures their attention to wonder what you're learning about. So make sure true or false is there at the beginning and then a very short post to ensure people will read it all and actually respond. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are smart. You know a little bit about how Facebook's algorithms work. And the more comments you get on something, the more likely it is to appear on other people's news feeds. So this is a great way to get those comments, additional likes, and shares even, depending on what you put out. So true or false statements is the first one. Second, asking questions, just general questions. This is another strategy. This is another strategy that you can use to get response. So question posts have a 92% higher comment rate than non-question posts. That's right, 92%. I did not make that number up. There's a lot of statistics that you'll hear today and see on my screen that are directly from Facebook's earnings call, which reports out on how fa Facebook's doing, uh, how many users they have, all kinds of information. So 92% higher comment rate than when you don't ask a question. That's pretty amazing. So here's a simple question. If you could use only one social media management tool for the rest of eternity, which would you choose and why? So folks, go ahead and answer that in the GoToWebinar questions. I'm curious which one you guys use the most and think is the most valuable for you. I'm seeing Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, 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 Hootsuite, Facebook, Flipagram. Awesome. So a lot of you, most of you are saying Facebook, Hootsuite, awesome. Lots of great tools. They all have their, their pluses and minuses. Um, but being on Facebook is definitely very valuable in today's world. So I'll go ahead into the next status update. Motivational quotes. So from looking through some of your Twitters from those of you that signed on, there definitely were quotes in your recent tweets or even in your cover photos. Uh, I saw one, I don't remember who it was, it said, you can do it. Um, 
if you don't win, or even if you don't win, you're learning. Uh, so there's lots of good ones. Posting those as typical statuses as well can get you some great results. So obstacles are those frightful things you see when you take your eyes off the goal. Obstacles are those frightful things you see when you take your eyes off the goal. So typical motivational quotes are great things to post, especially for getting likes. So motivational quotes is the third one. Positive posts get more likes than negative posts. So you obviously probably read that already, but that's a very true statement. Next is another question type one, but a different way to do it. And this is actually my favorite way of getting engagement on Facebook. I've seen it drive the best results for us here at Hayo, and on my personal page I've used this a couple times as well. But fill in the blanks. Reply to comments to keep the engagement going. So you have this fill in the blank. People respond to it. Make sure you reply from that business page to keep interacting with those users. Tie them closer into your brand. So if money were no object, my ideal Christmas present would be fill in the blank. And sometimes this is another great opportunity for you to surprise customers. So occasionally we randomly send packages to customers and try and find things they like for maybe they like baseball and they have a local team, tickets to the game, or if you've done a status like this, you randomly want to surprise your customers, this is a great tool to kind of dig further into their lives, know what they like, and then surprise them. So this is a great tool for getting interaction. Make them simple things that everyone can answer. That way they actually will. So as I mentioned, this is my favorite. I've seen it drive the best results from what I've seen. Uh, so definitely try this out. Next up, crowdsourcing. So the more engagement and creative ideas is a win-win for you and them. So calling all big thinkers. We are looking for a new hashtag to use for our annual event. Submit your creative ideas in the comments below and we just may pick yours. So this gets you the minds of way more people than work in your office. Maybe you're a solopreneur uh, like Cheryl who we spoke to earlier and you need some other outside ideas. This is a great tool to get ideas from your users. It also gets engagement on your posts. So this is a great tool. It's always good to get user created content, whether that's photo contests and you can use the pictures that they put up with your product or just ideas for new hashtags for events. There's lots of different things you can do with crowdsourcing and it's a very, very valuable tool for any business because once again, it's bringing them closer to your brand. So crowdsourcing. And this last one, a lot of people hesitate with doing because they feel like you shouldn't ask for a like, but you might as well. Ask for the like. Calls to action get 45% higher interaction. So click like if you think there should be a day between Saturday and Sunday. We sure do, and I'm sure all of you listening probably do as well. I'd be surprised to find someone that wouldn't want that. Now I know a lot of you are asking questions and Alex and Lauren will definitely be answering those for you. Keep them coming and we'll get you answers in there. And then bonus tip, creating a content calendar. So as I mentioned a little bit ago, for those of you who didn't know what that was yet, that's figuring out what times you're going to schedule your posts or go on live, sign in, and, and post them, but figuring out a content calendar. So maybe it's every day at 9 a.m. you're putting out a picture. At noon you're putting out a video. At 5 you're sending them to an article they can read. Maybe every Monday you launch a contest and then announce the winner on Friday. So figuring out your content calendar, and the next thing we're going to go into is how to decide what times to post. So this is something that is extremely valuable and you can actually learn when your users are most online. Before I jump into figuring that out, I'm curious to see if any of you have actually used any of those status updates before. So go ahead and answer the poll on your screen. I'm curious to see, as I mentioned, I want to make sure you guys are learning something. And if you haven't used one yet, I know a lot of you are voting, go ahead and type in the GoToWebinar questions. If you haven't 
used any yet, which one you like the best? I'm curious to see which one you guys think will be most successful for your pages. And even if you've used all of them, go ahead and share which one you think is most valuable and let me know you've used them all and I can share that with everyone else who's live. So the, the best is thing is sharing information for everyone. Someone's talking about dinosaurs in the chat room, pterodactyls specifically, that's my favorite dinosaur. <laughs> awesome. So a lot of people are saying they get a lot of success with quotes. I'm seeing a lot about the crowdsourcing. It looks like the most popular is putting on quotes. So Julia and a couple other people I have are asking for a summary. That is actually my next slide. So here are the six status updates in case you missed one, signed on late, didn't get a chance to write it down because I was talking too fast. Here's a chance that you can write those down to make sure you're using those. So I'm going to go ahead and close the poll. So most, about two-thirds of you have already used status updates. 3% of you don't have a Facebook page yet. And 30% are about to go do those. So I'll go ahead and let you see the screen again and run through this. So six status updates, one true or false statements. Bonus tip for that, make sure to have true or false at the beginning so they know there's something they're going to have to answer. Next, asking questions. Plain and simple questions, get feedback on them. People will respond, especially if you ask questions that really get people going. So relate them to current events is a great tool. Next up, motivational quotes. So those don't even have to tie into your business. Those are just something fun that you can put on your Facebook page to help drive engagement, get likes on those statuses. Next up, fill in the blank. So uh, I saw somebody asking the GoToWebinar questions, do you have to put fill in the blank at the beginning so they know it's coming? No, you don't have to, but as with the true or false statements, it can definitely help. So if they know, oh, I'm going to need to fill something in, I wonder what it could be, maybe that's going to make them more likely to actually fill it in. So definitely that's a strategy that you can try. Every audience is different. They interact differently, as you'll see with the Facebook page insights, which I'm about to show you. So if that went over your head, don't worry about it. I'll cover it in a second. But everything you kind of have to test, see what works best for your particular audience. Next is crowdsourcing. So get your audience to provide content, hashtags, whatever it might be for you. Once again, this is another great tool for getting them closer to your brand, something you always want. And lastly, asking for the like. So straight up saying, like this status if, is another great tool to get engagement. And all of these with getting engagement really helps for making your organic reach go back up a little bit and bringing new people into your page. And then lastly, creating a content calendar. So scheduling out when you're going to make posts from your page. And try and stick true to that. I know it's hard. A lot of you that have done it may have slipped a little bit. Um, there are a lot of tools out there that can help you with scheduling your posts. So they'll automatically go out at the times you desire. So the second thing I'm going to cover with you today, the three secret variables you need to understand to decide what times to post. So this is extremely important, folks. Make sure you're paying attention here. So Facebook Insights. Real quick in the GoToWebinar questions, how many of you are using Facebook Insights or not? So go ahead and type yes if you are and no if you're not. Most people don't know about these. Yep, and it looks like that's probably, I'm actually seeing a majority of no's. So those of you who are saying yes, I am so proud of you. Congrats. That's awesome. Um, you probably already know a lot about what I'm going to show you, but hopefully we can teach you a couple new things here today. So when you're on your Facebook business page, you go to the Insights tab, and then you can click the Posts, and then there are three separate categories in here that I'm going to cover with you. So when your fans are online, look at that. That literally tells you when you should be posting. 
So data shown for the recent one week period. So obviously this is something you want to check frequently. Your audience might change week to week, year by year, month by month, whatever. Make sure you're keeping up to date with this. So you can see which days and then what times the users are on. So as you can already tell, this is extremely valuable for making sure you know when to post. So right before it's at the peak here, you're going to want to post because you'll see when they're live. So you can actually see the time of activity for your fans specifically. And then as you can see, it's based on your computer's time zone. So if you're traveling, make sure to pay attention to all that. Next. <laughs> Tara is posting about dinosaurs again. I love dinosaurs. <laughs> uh, user persona. So this is another very valuable one. I'll leave this up here for a second to let you guys digest what's going on. This is showing you the success of different post types based on the average reach and the engagement. So the yellow bars on this side are showing you the average reach. So you can see what type of post it was, whether it was a video, a link to an external page, just a normal status, or a photo. And then you can see the engagement. So this blue on the top is the clicks on the post. And then the red on the bottom is the likes, comments, and shares. So this is another very valuable tool. You can see what actually works for your audience. So you know down the road what you should be posting or what you shouldn't be posting. So the one thing that to take note of here is say you're just focused on clicks. There's obviously the videos get the best engagement for that. But if you want more likes, comments, and shares, you want more people actually interacting with you, the photos seem to work better. So once again, this is a lot of testing to see what works with your audience or not. So mix it up. Make sure to figure out what is actually working best for your audience. So user persona. If you have questions, put them in the GoToWebinar questions. We are happy to answer. That's what we're here for. And if we don't get to them into, in the questions there, remember there is a live Q&A there at the end. So very valuable information. Hopefully this, guys, is very important to you. So. Real quick before we leave this page, I've seen a couple people posting, what's the difference between average reach and average engagement? So reach is the amount of people that are seeing the posts. Engagement are the people that are interacting. So whether that's clicking to go watch the video on YouTube, or clicking to open up the photo, or clicking the link to go see that website you're sending them to. So this is just being able to see it, viewing the post. This is actually commenting, liking, sharing, uh, or clicking on it. So hopefully that answers a question for you there. Awesome. So I'll let Alex and Lauren answer the rest of the questions. I just thought that one was pretty important to answer here live for everyone. If your question hasn't been answered yet, go ahead and post it again so it comes to the top of the feed so they'll see it again. And lastly, user persona. So real quick, I'm going to ask you one more poll question before I talk about this topic. So do you already know your user persona? So this is very important for every business. Do you know who you're trying to reach? So yes, I know exactly who I'm trying to reach. Nailed it down with science. You already know these insights maybe and are targeting them specifically. Know you're targeting the right people. Know you're still working on it, which is awesome that you already know to be thinking about this. And no, I haven't even thought about it yet. Folks, this is something very important to make sure you're getting sales. If you're not targeting the right people, you probably won't grow your business as fast as you would probably like to or maybe not grow it at all. So figuring out who your target is, the user persona, is extremely important. So there are lots of different variables, age, where they live, activities they like. So here you can see a screenshot. I'll go ahead and close the poll share the results real quick. So about 50% of you know who you're targeting. 38% are still working on it. I know there's a lot of businesses that are kind of in between, uh, you know, whether that's female, male, the age range. There's lots of folks that it takes time to figure out. So don't let it 
Don't let it frustrate you. It takes time. And then 14% of you haven't thought about it yet. So here's how you can see who you're actually getting engaged on Facebook. So you'll know if your strategies are working to reach the right people or not. So those 50% of you that know who you're trying to reach, go into your Facebook Insights, click the People tab, People Engaged. You can see the breakdown from male to female. You can see their age range. And you can see where they're engaging from. So say you're based in the United States, you only, maybe you're a services business, you only serve people that are in the U.S. because you like to meet with them in person. Maybe it's in a specific city. That's how you know whether you're reaching those people or not. And if you're not, that's when you need to adjust your strategies on Facebook to make sure you're reaching those people that you know are your targets or that ideal user persona for you. So this part of Facebook Page Insights is extremely valuable for making sure you're reaching the right people or if you need to go ahead and change up your strategy to make sure you are reaching those people. So hopefully you can figure out how to find this. So it's pretty easy at the top of your business page. You'll see these tabs, insights, this one's for people, and engage. And there are a lot of other things to play around with here as well. So definitely take a look at this insights. So those were those three secret strategies. Uh, the few of you that knew what those were already, that's awesome. You're on top of your game. Um, and those of you who haven't seen these yet, it's pretty unreal how much this can help your business grow. So definitely things to take a look at right after you get off the webinar here to check, you know, oh, wow, I'm completely off. I'm only reaching females. I should be reaching males who are 60. Um, so go ahead and take a look at that right when you're off the webinar here today. So knowing all those little things, activities they like, the time of day they're posting, what type of posts they're engages, engaged with, those are all really valuable. And then posting volume is something extremely important as well. So finding the sweet spot of when your users are active and keeping your volume of posting relatively low. So you don't want to just overwhelm people with tons of posts. Make sure they're valuable for them. Random pick-me-ups. Maybe every Friday you have a motivational quote. Uh, it's all about that content calendar we talked about. So figuring out when you're going to post a certain type of posts and how effective those are for your business at the same time as making sure they meet the users that you want to have engaging and seeing your posts. So I know this is a lot to think about, but it is all extremely important for having success with your business. So number three for today, what's the quickest way to use the content to double your email list? So I'll go ahead and see if anyone wants to answer this. Uh, if not, I'll give you the answer on the next slide. So what's the quickest way to use this content to double your email list? Yep, it looks like a lot of you are already saying this. Julia, Stephen, Henry, Jen. Yep, so running a contest or a campaign. So run a Facebook campaign. And more specifically, we're going to cover contests for you. So what can those do for you? You've figured out the scheduling. As I showed you in the content calendar sample earlier, maybe you launch a contest every Monday or every other Monday, the first Monday of the month, Thursdays. Figure out what works best for you. But this is how you can actually collect email leads to then convert these people into sales revenue. So here's a, a sample, Inkwell Press. They sell planners. You can see their Facebook page, some email marketing they did, and then here's their campaign. So this is a way to get some engagement, so likes on your page, shares to Facebook and Twitter, as well as collecting the email address, where you can then do email marketing follow-up to complete sales. So they captured 1,800 emails, which was 48% of the people who actually saw their contest. So having this as a part of your content calendar so I taught you all those strategies to get more reach and engagement on your posts. Adding contests in is how you can actually get revenue from all this hard work you're putting in to figure out when to post, if you're reaching the right people. It's a lot of work, but it's definitely worth it. So here's another one, the Gurin Brothers. So this one's kind of given ownership to the, the fans of the page and the customers they have. So 
Their contest was to name a hat after the winner. And they had supplemental prizes as well of five free hats. So five individuals won free hats. The grand prize is getting a hat named after you to be featured on their page. Here's the status they put up. So they've got lots of engagement on their previous posts because they had a great content calendar. So people saw this post and were driven into their contest. And they actually got a good amount of sales from this. You can see up here the results. So about 10,600 people viewed it. They captured 8,400 emails, which converted at 78%. So those of you who have run campaigns before, that number is pretty, pretty darn high. Um, typically, campaigns are in the 10 to 15% average. Uh, with Heyo, we usually see averages just above 20%. So this one did extremely well, and I think that's largely, in fact, because of the ownership they were giving to their fans. Paul here ran a contest around Valentine's Day. So another bonus tip for you all listening today is running the campaigns around holidays or events. So Mother's Day is coming up here uh, in about a week and a half. So that's a great time to run a campaign. This one's running around Valentine's Day. He gave away, uh, he runs an inn. He gave away a room with a little Valentine's bundle inside the room. Uh, and you can see here his goal is to capture emails so they could email market and fill more rooms in the hotel down the road or the inn. And here are their results. So I'll let you guys take this in. And there's a mobile version of his contest as well. The great thing about these contests is you're actually going to be able to turn your fans into marketers. So I know a lot of you at the beginning were saying, yeah, my reach has gone down. I saw in the, in the GoToWebinar questions. And that's true across the board. So turning your fan into marketers is a great tool for you to have. And this is actually built into Heyo contests. So as you saw, there's the like, share, and tweet buttons built in directly to the contest. So Paul enters his contest. He shares and tweets it to his followers and fans. Maybe not all of them enter, but say five. So from him, entering turns into five, and the same thing happens. So it kind of has that viral effect. So your reach just grows exponentially because of these built-in share features. So it's a pretty cool tool. Don't have to spend money on ads. You can if you want to, but it's not necessary because your fans will help market these contests for you. And that's how you're actually going to get revenue from your business. So this all ties in together. The content calendar leads to more visibility, more engagement, which then drives more people into these contests you can run. That way you can actually communicate with the, your fans on Facebook because you can't actually reach out to them directly from Facebook. That's against Facebook's terms of service. So, so far, here's what you guys have learned. The six status updates you can copy to get you likes, comments, and shares and increase your organic reach. Next, you learn the three secret variables you need to understand to decide what times to post and if you're reaching the right fans. So those were those Facebook insights I showed you. And then I showed you the quick way to use content to double your email list. Now, as I mentioned at the very, very beginning, if you remember, I would do a live demo of how to build one of these contests. And I promise it takes less than five minutes, which probably sounds shocking to you. But if you want, I can show you a live demo of how that works real quick. If not, we'll skip right into live Q&A. So if you want me to show you the live demo, go ahead and type show me in the questions. If not, I'll skip straight ahead to make sure I'm not wasting you guys' time here today. Let me go back to the question. Okay, wow, there's hundreds. Okay, yep, so I'll go straight into the demo. Let me pull over my screen here and make this a little bigger for you all. So when you log into Heyo, this is a dashboard, and it's extremely easy. As I mentioned, I'll, I'll time myself, under five minutes. So you create a campaign from your dashboard. I guess I have to log in because I wasn't logged in. So you click the Create a Campaign button. There's lots of different things you can do with Heyo. So custom tabs, contests, integrations with other social medias. We're going to focus on running social contests. That way you can capture those crazy amounts of email leads to grow your business. We're going to choose the sweepstakes, which drives the best results. 
and we're going to go ahead and edit it. So as you can see, when I hover over something, it highlights in this gray. That's how you know it's an editable field. In addition to that being there for you, there are these six tabs here on the right-hand side, which are the six features you need to edit before you publish. So header image is just uploading your branding. So you can upload it directly from your computer and it'll pull it in for you. Or if you don't have it saved on your computer, you can go online, get the image URL from just right click, copy image URL and paste it in and it'll pull it in for you. Next, contest end date. So we've done a lot of testing behind this to make sure our users get the best results. And we found that seven days or less on the contest is going to ensure you get the best results because it creates urgency. So people will see that countdown be more likely to enter if it has seven days or less left on that countdown. So seven days or less on the countdown. I'm going to leave it at nine because I'm not going to launch this until Thursday. So seven days. After that, the sign up form. So you can integrate it with a lot of different email marketing platforms or you can just do a downloadable CSV and upload that to any other platform we aren't synced with yet. Now, real quick, go ahead and type in the GoToWebinar questions. If you're using an email marketing platform, which one? I like to see which ones are popular so that if people aren't on them yet, I can help recommend them to other people. So those of you already using one, go ahead and type it in so I can mention to the other people listening that might not have one what some popular ones are. MailChimp, 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 Constant Contact, AWeber, Campaign Monitor, Mad Mimi. So for those of you listening, it seems the most popular ones are MailChimp and AWeber. There's lots of other ones as well, but those seem to be the most popular. Infusionsoft's in there a lot as well. Awesome. So you can pick your mar email marketing platform, have those emails sent directly into a list. You can have an autoresponder set up as well, thanking people for entering or the CSV. You can change to have more fields. So if you want to collect more on the email, you can. If you want a name or a phone number, feel free to add those in. Our recommendation is to keep it at email only because the less you're asking from people, the more likely they are to enter. So if you want to change those, you can easily add a field, customize it to be whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it at the email though. That way, we drive the best results. Done. Next, share settings. So you put in your Facebook page URL. So they like your page. The link to share slash tweet, you just listen to this note here. So leaving it blank will default to sharing to the URL to drive traffic directly into the contest. So when people click to share, when Paul enters the contest, clicks to share to his, his friends on Facebook, they'll see that post and they'll link them right back in the contest. Same with Twitter. It'll include the link to drive traffic right back into this contest. And then the cool thing that we've done for you here is you can actually add pre-populated text into the share on Facebook and Twitter. So you can have it say whatever you want. So Jess entered to win a free bike from Garth. And you can even tag your Twitter handle here. So maybe it's at Garth. Click here to enter, and it'll autofill with that URL, so it'll drive traffic right back into the contest. Done. Then you add the contest image, so whatever you're giving away as a prize, showcase it here so people can see it. Maybe have some simple text of what it is they're winning. That's just uploading it from your computer once again. And then lastly, the contest description. So this takes text down here. You can add any details, rules, regulations, uh, if they have to be a certain age, a certain region, you can put that there. You can describe the prize and maybe any additional rules. If you have a lot of rules and regulations you want to add, you can actually even put a link in here to drive them externally to that. That way it doesn't take up a lot of room on this template here. And that's it. You've already edited this entire contest. It's ready to publish and bring in emails for you to turn into money. Cha-ching. So that's it. Save and preview. And then here's the cool part. So remember how I showed you those mobile versions of the campaign earlier? Those are extremely important. About 50% of people using Facebook, it's actually 
are only going on from their mobile phones. So they never once log on from their laptop, desktop. It's only their mobile phones. So no matter what you're doing, whether it's a website, a campaign like this, you need to make sure you have a mobile version of whatever it is. So with a click of one button, you're going to have a mobile version of this contest as well. Boom, there it is. So it resizes, reformats everything. It's not just for an iPhone screen, though. It's for any type of device they're on. So if they're on a tablet, to reformat and resize to fit their screen as well. So it optimizes the viewing for any device. They can still enter in, interact. So it's fit for any screen. All you need to do is click the Publish button, pick your Facebook page, and it'll take a couple seconds to promote or to publish that URL for you. So here it tells you that this is a smart URL, which basically means it'll be able to think and be able to detect what version of the contest to show them. So we publish three different versions for you, and the one link will know which version to show them. So if it takes them to the Facebook version, if they have a Facebook, it'll drive them right in that Facebook tab. If they're on their mobile phone, it'll make sure to show them the mobile version. And then if they don't even have a Facebook, it'll detect that and drive them to a standalone web page to ensure you're not losing any leads. So you promote with this one URL. So as I promised, that was under five minutes to build it. Here's your URL to promote it. Obviously, you'd have to create images, so it'll take a little longer than five minutes, but you don't need to know a single line of code. Pretty cool. So real quick, as I mentioned at the beginning, today it was going to be a failure for me if you didn't learn at least two things. So let me know if I did my job here today in teaching you guys. So type yes or no. Is there at least two things you learned that you can use to help grow your business? So simple yes or no. Awesome. And if the answer is no, actually tell me, please. I want to know that so I can make sure I get more relevant content in future webinars. And if you didn't learn anything, go ahead and let me know what you'd like to learn more about so I can teach you those specific things. I'm not seeing any no's, but if there are, I'll, I'll find those afterwards. I'll look through the comments, and I'll go ahead and send you an email, and I would love to hear what you'd like to learn more about, and hopefully I can teach you something. So I'm seeing tons of yeses and thank yous. You want more information now, I'm sorry. Um, I, I don't have enough time to give you more today, but there will be more webinars down the road, and I would love to teach you guys more stuff. So coming up, we have live Q&A. First, I see some of you asking about how you actually can build these. So if you're interested in HAO pricing, go ahead and type buy in the GoToWebinar questions. If I see a couple, I'll go into that. If not, I'll skip straight to Q&A. And, and then I'll answer more questions. I know there's been a lot in there, but I'm sure Alex and Lauren have taken care of you guys here today. So, wow. Yep, okay, there's tons. So I'll go into pricing real quick. I did put together a special bonus package, as I mentioned, with a bonus we've never even given before on a webinar. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go into that real quick. And there are going to be limited bonuses because some of these take up our time here in the HAO office. So here's what's included with every HAO package. For those of you who knew nothing about HAO before today, this is what you get with our normal package. So you get access to the lead capture pages and campaigns. There's the photo and video contests, which we have, and those sweepstakes templates. You get direct email marketing integrations to help you grow your list and have autoresponders set up with these campaigns. As I mentioned, if we don't already sync with your platform, we're building new ones all the time. We're actually working on the Andreport one right now. It should be out maybe sometime this week. The mobile versions of your campaigns are already created, so you don't have to worry about hiring freelance developers and designers to create those or to create these contests as a whole. And then, as you've seen from the GoToWebinar questions, there's super responsive customer support. So our team is great at making sure you get the help you need. Now the bonuses. I actually don't even have one of them listed here because I'm deciding to add it last minute. So you're going to have to remember that it's there uh, when we go through talking with these. So as a bonus for attending this webinar today, if you buy live on the webinar, you'll get access to our internal customer webinar series. So Alex, who's live, actually hosts those. 
and that's more learning opportunities for you to ensure your success with not just the Hale platform but social media in general. You'll get a personal one-on-one -on -one strategy call with myself. Those of you that are asking for a picture, there you go. I'll get on the line with you to make sure that you're picking the right prize to actually pre-qualify those leads that you're capturing. So make sure they're going to be your user persona. So I'll jump on the phone with you, discuss the campaign that you're going to run. We'll send you an ebook of 11 high converting ideas you can copy as an incentive or prize for your Facebook campaign. So we've run over a quarter of a million of these contests. We've done research behind what works, what doesn't work. This is a, a, a little ebook we wrote to help you pick that right prize to get more entrance and make sure they're pre-qualified leads for you. You'll get access to our invite only, this one still blows my mind, access to our invite only mastermind Facebook group where we have some of the top marketers in the world answering questions in there. Our CEO Nathan personally curates this, so you can't get access to that any other way. There'll be a replay link and downloadable PDF of this slide deck, so that way any of the things I covered today that might have been a little too fast or you need to hear it a second time as a refresher, you'll get that. The best practices and tactics for running a successful Facebook campaign, so that's an ebook, that walks you through the whole process from picking your prize, so that other ebook will help with that, to building those autoresponder emails, to having follow-up emails to actually complete sales directly after the contest runs. So that's something that we didn't even cover here today that's in that ebook. And that's how you're going to get revenue. You'll get a free course of how to discover content the newsfeed loves. So uh, the CEO and founder of Post Planner, Josh Parkinson, is on this stage for Creative Live with Nathan Latka. And we're going to send you that video course for free. And lastly, I mentioned at the very beginning of the webinar, there's a bonus that isn't even on here that we've never offered. And those of agencies that are live with us, this will really pertain to you. It's not even on the slides because I'm adding this in. So those of you who sign up today, we will also remove the Hale branding from the templates themselves. So usually there's a little Powered by Hale logo in the top right corner that people can click on and go to the Hale site. We'll remove that for you so it looks more professional, looks like you built it, or if you're an agency live today, you can resell them to your clients. So that bonus in itself is probably worth purchasing live today. So all these bonuses and what you normal get, normally get with Hayo is a one-time price for a full year of $300. So one-time price for the full year, $300, only if you sign up today live. So this actually probably goes up a couple hundred dollars because of the white labeling, which I don't even have on the slides. So if you want to claim those bonuses and build contests like I showed you in that live demo, it's one time for the full year, $300 at hayo.com forward slash deal. And as I mentioned, we're going to have to limit these because of the time it takes to do the strategy calls. So we're going to have to limit these because I don't have unlimited time. So if you want to claim those bonuses, the white label, which I promise you will not be available after this webinar unless you buy a different plan, go ahead over to hayo.com forward slash deal to take advantage of that. So while people are doing that, if you have any questions, put them in the GoToWebinar questions. And now is the time I will answer those. So go ahead and put questions. If you've already asked questions and they didn't get answered, go ahead and put them in there. So I'm already seeing some that are very important to get answered for everyone. So there are, are there an analytics reporting for these campaigns? So, yes, let me go find where I put the Hayo dashboard. So let me go open up a new window. I actually closed that. So I'm going to go over to Hayo.com and open that up, and then I'll bring my screen back over so you can see the reporting and analytics. So for those of you who are wondering about analytics, so Kathy, Suze, Thomas, ask about analytics. So there's two things we have. One, there's some analytics on our dashboard but you might want more than that. So this just tells you the number of impressions for the campaign. So you can see how many people viewed it. You can see how many emails were collected from that campaign. And then you can see how many likes. So that's for the Facebook page. Further, if you want to do more reporting, what you can actually do, so I'm going to pick this contest template again. 
You can go to Options and plug in Google Analytics to get further reporting. So this actually Google Analytics is a free tool. You just grab the code from that. You can get more information as to you know where they're coming from. So if they clicked from a tweet, if they clicked from your Facebook page, uh, you can get a lot more reporting and analytics directly from Google Analytics if you sync that with your page. So great question. Keep posting the questions through. I'm happy to answer all those for you. And make sure to go over to hayo.com forward slash deal if you want to take advantage of these. I'm already seeing a good amount come through. So I'm actually going to already have to limit it because of how fast these are coming through. Um, only five more. So that's for the white labeling, all the bonuses, and the package. $300 for a full year's usage. So you saw how many emails some of these collected. If you already know how much an email lead typically costs from you, it's probably more than this one rate in itself. So go over to hayo.com forward slash deal. You'll only be able to claim these bonuses, including that white labeling, so removing the Hayo branding, live today on the webinar. And there's only going to be five of those left. So I'm going to have a close watch on the page over here uh, to watch those come through. So keep asking questions. I'm going to try and answer as many as I can. Robert, awesome. Andre Part will be synced soon. Aweber already is. Tara, I'm not sure exactly what your question's asking about an email list. Um, for those of you, we have a lot of customers already paying that are on the webinar. So for those of you that are already on the webinar and want to talk about bonuses, Lauren and Alex will send my email to you if you don't already have it in the GoToWebinar questions there. Uh, and just shoot me an email and I will talk to you about all those bonuses. We, we always take care of our customers, so. Karen, thanks for tuning on as always. It's great to see you. So people are asking about integrations with other social medias. So yeah, if you actually, here it is. So if you sign up, as I showed you, right when I click the Create a Campaign button, there's lots of other things to do with Heyo. And integrations with other social media is one of those other things. So you can actually get custom tabs on your Facebook page as a part of this $300 package for the year. So this is an option that you can use as a part of that package you're already purchasing. So you can have other social medias integrated directly with using Heyo. There's my dog. Um, so this is our Instagram feed. So you can pull that in as well. And there's a YouTube one. So there's lots of different things you can do with Heyo with that $300 a year package. It looks like we have one of those bonuses left. So for one more person who signs up, you can get all those bonuses, including the white label, which is not even on the screen there, which in itself is about the subscription you're paying from our normal plans. So go ahead and keep asking me questions. There's one bonus left. So for those of you on the checkout page, get your fingers a typing. We have one bonus left because it does take up a lot of my time to do these strategy calls. Yes, Tyler, we're serious. It only is $300 for the year. <laughs> it looks like you already have signed up. <laughs> yep, that's accurate. You'll see that on the checkout page. It's only $300 for all these bonuses and access to the platform. Um. Joe, I'm not sure if they already answered your question, but someone from the team will answer about using PayPal. What's the best template to use for a Facebook photo contest? Great question. So we actually have a photo contest template. So you can see that right here. Um, so Melissa, thanks for asking that question. There is a photo contest and video contest template. Those are the ones you'll want to use for stuff like that which are great ways to get your users to take pictures with your product or service, whatever it might be. We have lots of people using those, especially photographers. I've seen a couple of you checked in on Twitter. Um, so that's a great tool. 
Um, those of you asking about how long the offer lasts, it actually is only live today on the webinar to be able to get those bonuses because of the fact that those aren't things that we can um, you know, give out tons of. Let me actually go refresh this to see if that lasts. Bonus. Oh, so two other people had already purchased. So if you had already purchased, obviously we will stay true to our word and give you those bonuses. It looked like two came through at the same time. So those of you who are still on the checkout page, we will honor those. But since there's already more than we were able to offer with those strategy calls, um, if the webinar closes down, we won't be able to honor those after that. But if you sign up now, since we're still live, we will go ahead and honor those bonuses for you. So welcome to the Hale family. We got uh, too many names to read. I'll try and pull a couple of you live here in a second. Uh, if you're on the checkout page, go ahead and complete. We will still give you those bonuses, but when the webinar shuts down, we'll have to end those. So I'm going to go back and answer some more questions. Um, Carol, I see your comment. Uh, I, I'll have Lauren will help you with that. So some people are asking about Facebook restricting sharing and liking as entrance or methods of entry for a contest. That is actually completely accurate. These, the way we set it up though, none of this is actually required. So it just looks like it with the numbered steps, which is perfectly legal according to Facebook's rules and regulations. We've paid our lawyers lots of money to make sure this complies with all their rules or else our business would be shut down. We actually also include this legal disclaimer for you as well. So if you're running one of these, you don't have to worry about Facebook shutting it down. Everything that is a part of this contest that we've showed you here today complies with all the rules. Tyler again, can't believe the price is so good. I know it's pretty crazy, Tyler, <laughs> but we enjoy helping people out. Awesome. Uh, remember, if you have a question that hasn't been answered yet, definitely put it back in there, post it again. That way we see it at the top of the feed and can get it answered for you. I see some people asking about uh, unlimited campaigns and agency plans. If you ask that, Alex or Lauren will type my email in there for you, and I will try and get a hold of you right after the webinar here today. I just want to make sure I answer as many questions live as I can. Yes, Diane, so there is uh, going to be a replay available that actually is one of the bonuses there. Um, so we'll send a, re a video replay and the PDF of these slides out. Um, so those of you who have already signed up, as I mentioned, we will honor the bonuses that are still live while we have the webinar up. After that, we're going to have to close them down because of the time it takes me to do those personal one-on-one -on -one strategy calls. So if you're still on that checkout page, had to go get your credit card, you will still get those bonuses, including that removal of Hale branding. So those agencies that are live, you'll never see a price this cheap for that. Um, so go ahead and sign up if we're still live, and we will still honor those bonuses. Cheryl, thanks for the email. I will reach out to you right after the webinar. You're welcome, Marie. Thanks for signing on. Brian, you're welcome. Thanks for, I'm glad you learned a lot. Awesome. Awesome. So it looks like I've got most of the questions answered. Um, for those of you who are still on the fence, I didn't even show this earlier, but those of you who are still on the fence aren't sure quite yet. Since the webinar still is live, you may want to claim these bonuses. Uh, I still have some stuff I forgot to cover. So there is a 100% 30-day risk-free money-back guarantee. No questions asked. This has our signature of our CEO down there, his stamp of approval. So if you're on the fence, think $300 might be a lot. I, I promise you these bonuses won't be available again. Um, 
So that's something to think about as well. There is that 30-day, 100% money-back guarantee. And work with us. We've got a proven method. You saw a small glimpse of the results that some of our clients have had. Uh, there are even more results that we could share with you in case studies on our blog. Uh, this is actually a screenshot from my inbox of an uh, email I get every morning letting us know the results from current campaigns so we can look at them, send emails of suggestions for people on their campaigns. You can see the amount of emails collected is a little all over the place. That depends on your promotion strategies, how many fans you have. But as you can tell, all the conversion rates are pretty healthy. The lowest one I see is 21%. Uh, we have some up, one up in the 70s here. So we've been doing this for quite a while. We know what works best. We're here to help you make sure you have success with these campaigns. I'm going to go back and see if I can find any new questions I haven't answered yet. And let's see. So we have a question about, I know you said to run the contest seven days or less. What days are the best days to run the contest? So once again, this is another thing you're going to have to test out. So that's something you look at your Facebook page insights with. You have a full year to run these contests for that $300 price. So you can run quite a few contests and bring in quite a lot of revenue with just one contest, but you can do them throughout the whole year. So you'll have time to test them out, figure out what works best for your business to ensure you're getting good results for those. So testing out what days you start them, what days you end them, that's something you definitely have time to do within the full year period. Paul, it looks like you're having some trouble getting signed up. Um, someone from the support team will answer that there with the phone number to call in. And uh, they'll be able to help you with that. So someone's asking about advertising the campaigns across multiple platforms. I absolutely recommend doing that. So posting the link on Twitter, uh, in your Instagram bio, so people can see it. Wherever you can promote is the best way to do it. And some people earlier were asking, it looked like their question had been answered, but this is a great question for everyone. Why would you want to promote these contests to your email lists when you already have their emails? So obviously with the contest, you're collecting emails to market to. Why would you want them entering the contest if you already have their email? They'll walk through those share steps for you and be free marketers for you. So they'll bring in additional traffic for you if you have them enter. So that's why even though you already have their email, send an email to your email list letting them know there's a contest because they're help they will help with sharing it out for you. Great question. So I have some people asking about the Canadian laws where you need someone to check the box to be able to contact them. That's actually a part of our platform as well. So when I was showing you how to edit, edit this field here with other forms or other fields, you can actually change this to a checkbox so they have to check it so this can comply with the Canadian laws. So uh, check to receive emails or however you want to word that. So you can have a checkbox on there as well. So this will comply with all the Canadian laws. So it looks like from most of the questions I've seen, they've either been answered by Lauren and Alex or I've answered them live. So keep posting them in. I am out of content for you guys here today. Don't worry. There'll be more informative webinars down the road. We're going to keep the questions open here for a little longer. I'll just mute myself because I'm out of content today, but we'll stay in there and answer the questions. So keep asking them if you have them. Remember, those bonuses are only going to be available through the end of us shutting the webinar down. So you probably have about 10 more minutes to sign up. Feel free to ask questions away. Thanks for signing on today. I'm glad you all learned something. 
and stay in touch. We have so much more information to help you all succeed. We love small businesses. So feel free to reach out if you have any questions. I'll leave the screen up so you know what the bonuses are. Uh, add on the white labeling to that and we will close down about 10 minutes and that's as long as the bonuses will last. So let us know if you have any questions to go to webinar questions and have a great rest of your Cinco de Mayo. Thanks folks.